Welcome back, friends, to another episode of The Purpose Babe Show. I'm your host, Corey Clark, and I am so excited to talk to you today. I recently had a nice little getaway with my husband to Miami, and it was a very much-needed trip for a lot of reasons. Um, It was so good to see the ocean and to get in the ocean and feel that warm, salty water on my body and have sand beneath my feet and see palm trees. I can't tell you how much I miss that stuff. Um, You know, we lived in Southern California for like 10 years and those were my favorite things about it. (laughs) I'm not necessarily a huge fan of um, California um, politically and the craziness that's going on there right now, but... There's people I love there and the ocean and the beach and Disneyland, and I have been missing those things. And my husband and I haven't had like a getaway since before like quarantine started um, last year. So we did go away for one night for our anniversary this year. And, um, you know, it was, I think it was less than 24 hours actually, and it was great, but this was like a full week of just Ryan and I, and he actually was supposed to be working there. And then a bunch of his work plans changed and I was just going to be working from my hotel room and spending some time on the beach. And, um, we ended up getting a great little vacation out of it. So I came back feeling very refreshed and very inspired. And, um, if you have not taken some time away from, just your everyday life and busyness and your businesses and a break from the kids. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, that's something that Ryan and I have made a priority throughout our marriage and having kids is making our like having alone time a priority and not just date nights. Like date nights are so important and you've got to do date nights, but also like scheduling at least a few days, if not like a week or more, um, you know, get the kids with the grandparents or a trusted friend and just spend some time with your spouse because it is so good to reconnect and to remember why you got married in the first place. And I remember our first like long trip after we had kids And I was like, oh my gosh, I remember why I married you. You're not just the father of my children. Anyways, this is a total tangent. And maybe we should do an episode on marriage because we are coming up on, well, in January, next January, it'll be 25 years. And honestly, like, I'm not one of those people that says, oh, marriage is hard. Like, of course, it's hard anything that's worth fighting for and anything that's good is going to have like some struggles but I am not I don't think marriage is a huge struggle for us for a lot of reasons and so I might have to do a whole episode on that but that is not why I am recording this episode um this episode is because I want to talk about summer and being a business owner in the summer so I have had an online business for, well, I mean, I started my blog well over 10 years ago, probably about 13 years ago, I would have to say. And it was kind of always just this like, well, looking back, it was just a belief I had because somebody told me, um, you know, oh, and the summer is slow for online business, traffic's down, you know, you're just kind of like going to go into this summer slump. So just, you know, it is what it is. And so I always just kind of believed that and I let it be what it was. And, um, but the truth is it doesn't have to be, and you actually can enjoy your summer 
take time off, spend time with your family, you know, have the summer you want without completely just letting your business go and ignoring it and, you know, keep that momentum up. So I wanted to share with you guys today five things that you can do to really help not just like keep the momentum in your business going for the summer, but actually build momentum, um, increase your business, maybe even take it to the next level, but also at the same time, still be enjoying your summer and enjoy time with your kids and do the things that you really want to do because that's why we're all business owners in the first place, right? We want to create a life that is aligned with our purpose and our values and We want to be able to take time off. Um, But the thing is, is if you just take time off and ignore your business, then you're going to lose that momentum. And so I wanted to share just five easy tips, things that you can do. You can, if you are sitting right now and you can grab a piece of paper, you can write these things down, um, or you can go to the show notes if you want. And I'll have all of this on the blog as well for you to go back to, but There's just five easy things. So the first thing, well, actually, before I dive into these, I want to explain myself to you and why I have to do these things because I am like, it's so funny. I've taken the Enneagram several times, like five or six times, and I go back and forth between a three and a seven. And now I have not like done any kind of deep study on this. I don't know all the numbers or anything. But I do know that I will take the test and I will be a three and then another day I'll take it and I'll be a seven. And so the three is like the achiever and that is like my type A, like I want to be organized. I want to get everything done. I want to, you know, be the best. I want to have a successful business. But the part of me that's a seven, that's like a free spirit and I just want to have fun and I want to just have a party and you know it's like you only live once let's who cares like forget about the business let's go to Mexico and so it's like I am constantly battling these two personalities that I have and so I have learned that I have to have this structure set in place before summer so that I do have that freedom to be like, hey, let's head to the beach for the week or, you know, I'm going to take a few days off this week or, you know, maybe it's I'm only going to work one day a week this summer. Whatever it is that I decide to do, if I can put some structure around it at the beginning of the summer instead of waiting until, you know, it's the end of summer, kids are going back to school and it's like, oh my gosh, I have a whole lot of work to do to get caught up and get this momentum going again before I head into, you know, the fourth quarter. And the end of the year is always really busy for us, especially, you know, with planners and stuff. So if I can be a little bit proactive and disciplined at the beginning, then I can have a better summer and I can still enjoy myself. So that's why I came up with these kind of five things. And if you do them now, you're going to really set yourself up for a win. So, okay, number one, and you guys know I always say this, and I will say this probably till the day I die, you need to get clear on your purpose and your values. And you might be thinking like, oh my gosh, you know, Corey, you always say that. Like, why does this matter? What does this have to do with my summer? Well, here's why. If you get clear on your purpose and your values, it makes all of your decision making a whole lot easier because you get really good at saying no to the things that don't matter and you get really good at being intentional about scheduling time for the things that do matter. And so once you get into the habit of this and once you are like... I've done it so much that I know now, I know what my purpose is. I know what my values are. I know what our family values are. And I know what things I am going to allow into our lives and the things that I'm not. And it's so much easier to say no now. I promise you guys, it used to be so difficult for me. I'm like one of those people pleaser. I say yes to everything. Plus that's like my whole Enneagram seven. I don't want to miss out on anything. I want to have a ton of fun. 
And so it used to be really hard for me to say no to things, but it's gotten so much easier. And, um, you know, a lot of those things that don't align with our purpose and our values, those are the things that actually cause the burnout. You know, I can have a really full week schedule wise and I can finish not exhausted. I can finish feeling fulfilled and excited. And that's when I know I am walking in my purpose. I'm walking in alignment with the values that I have placed on my life and business, the values that Ryan and I have placed over our family. And it can be a super full week. And you might look at the schedule and be like, oh my gosh, that's exhausting. But it's fulfilling because it's the right things to do. Now, if I had a full schedule and it was a bunch of stuff that really wasn't in alignment with where we're headed, a bunch of just fluff and filler space, then I would be exhausted. And so there's a difference between having those two things, having a very full schedule of things that are in alignment with your purpose and values and having a very full schedule of just random stuff that is getting you nowhere. So that's number one, get clear on your purpose and your values. Number two is set your non-negotiables. Okay, so like your big rocks. And this is something that this is something that you really should always do. But like, let's just look at the summer, June, July, August, and ask yourself, what are the important things, these things that I need to get done before the end of the summer? But if you've done step one, and you're going based off your values, that means you're going to be scheduling time for those things too. So for us, it's you know, in order of priority, it's God first, family second, business third. And so, you know, our non-negotiables are my son's going to summer camp with church, um, you know, church on Sundays. There's things that we do as a family that are non-negotiable and, you know, family trips, whatever those things that you want to do that are really high on your values list, schedule those first. You know, if this means you need to sit down with your spouse and your kids and chunk out some time of, you know, make a list, maybe make a fun summer bucket list. I mean, you don't need to get all crazy and Pinterest perfect. You can literally just do this with like a line to sheet of paper and make a list of the things that you want to do with your family and get them scheduled so that you can actually see visually on paper or on your digital calendar or on your planner, however you plan, you can see where you have that open space to then go in and schedule time for your business. Okay, so make sure that you are scheduling these things in order of priority with your purpose and your values. And so that's how we do it. That's actually how we do our whole year. I use my you know, printable oversized wall calendar. And I put the things in there that I know we're doing, you know, birthdays, family trips, weddings, whatever it is, those are the important things. And then I can see where we're really full. And where I have some free time where I can maybe put a little bit extra effort into my business. Okay, so number two is set your non negotiables. Number three is set a strategic 90-day goal for your business, okay? Now, here's the best part. This can be whatever you want, okay? If you want to grow this summer, if you want to gain followers, if you want to grow your revenue, if you want to go to the next level, that's awesome. Go to the next level and set that very specific goal. Or maybe you're just like, no, I'm good right now. I want to make sure I am relaxed this summer. I don't want to have to work a lot. And maybe you just want to maintain your business. That's awesome too. But you need to set that goal. Because if you just look away and you stop showing up for your business and you stop showing up for your audience and you stop showing up for your customers, you will see that that momentum that you've built over the last six months 
is going to start to slide away. And what happens when we start losing momentum? It's really hard to start gaining it back. So if you want to maintain, then just be strategic about it, you know, and create a plan for whichever one of those paths that you want to be on this summer. My suggestion is to ask yourself, you know, on the last day of summer or the kid's first day of school, what do I want to have accomplished in my business? What do I want to be able to do on that first day back to school? I'm so excited because now I've built all this momentum and now I can head into my next launch with ease. I don't have to, you know, try and gain any traction anymore. And, you know, the beauty of it is, like I said, you get to decide what that is. So if you want to have a chill, relaxed summer, awesome. Like write it down and say, what is your intention for your business this summer? Is it maintenance? You know, how often are you going to show up online? Is it momentum? Is it growth? Set a actual, like, a specific outcome goal for your summer. And if if you need to put a dollar sign on it, put a dollar sign on it. If you need to put, you know, um, an email list subscriber count on it, like, do that. The more specific you are, the better because then that's going to help you actually create a strategy to finish strong. Okay, so number four is schedule that time for your business. So if you have done these previous steps, if you have gotten clear on your purpose and your values and you set your non-negotiables, the time with your family, and you have scheduled all that, and now you've set your goal and you know exactly what you need to do, Now you can look at your summer and you can actually schedule in the time and, you know, your benchmarks, um, anything that you need to do to hit that specific goal that you just set. Now you get to decide when you're going to do it. Are you going to do a little bit every day or are you just going to work one day a week or two days a week? Or, you know, can you schedule in a time where you send your kids off to VBS or to summer camp um, or a weekend with the grandparents and chunk out a bunch of work just so that you don't have a heavy load all summer? And, you know, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to actually put this stuff on your calendar, you know, and If it's something where, you know, for us, my kids are older, two of them are working, Um, one of them is, you know, going to be on summer break, and it's a little bit easier for me because my teenager sleeps in, so I can get up early, get work done in the mornings, and have the afternoon to do whatever, you know, and so just this is something that you have to decide how to mold it to your family. I can give you all the specific instructions in the book if I want but at the end of the day it depends on your purpose it depends on what your family's doing and so when you can take ownership of that and you can have that authority over your family and business you're going to actually start to see how the two can work together easily okay the fifth thing is to get an accountability partner or a coach, someone who is going to make sure you do these things. You know, for me, honestly, I will tell you, I like summer is my favorite. (laughs) I want to be by the pool. I want to be working on my suntan. I want to be sipping one of my husband's skinny margaritas. I want to be at the beach, you know, and so it takes discipline and having a coach or an accountability partner that I can check in with and say, Hey, these are the things I'm going to get done this week. What are you going to get done this week? And check in with each other and make sure that you're staying on track. Because what I would love to see happen is for you to get to the end of the summer and you've got momentum in your business. You've got growth in your business. You are like ready to go and you don't have to do all this scrambling in September to try and get that momentum going again. And 
you can finish the year stronger than you ever have. So those are the five things. I'll say them again real quick. Get clear on your purpose and your values. Set your non-negotiables. Set your strategic 90-day goal. Schedule time for your business. And get a coach or accountability partner. Okay, those that's it. And you will see in your business the result that you want at the end of these next 90 days. So I'm really excited because I am doing something I've never done before. And if you are like, yes, I'm going to have the best summer I've ever had. I'm ready to take my business to the next level. And you want to get serious and you want to get serious with a group of like-minded women who also want to be serious about their business and still have fun with their families, um, I'm offering a summer mastermind. It's called the Summer Splash because I was so used to having like these summer slumps and I was like, no, we are going to have a summer splash. We are going to build momentum in our businesses. But what I'm really excited about is, you know, most masterminds, run anywhere from like $10,000, $20,000, even up to 50000 I mean, even more. But um, I didn't want to do that. I wanted this to be something for the women who they are serious and they want to grow their business. And they're not necessarily at that level yet to make such a large investment, like $10,000. And so I broke it down into a 90-day mastermind. We're going to have coaching calls. We're going to have hot seat calls. We're going to have some power hour calls so that we can work together and just get some stuff done and um, have accountability. So we are launching in June. And I'm just, I literally just opened the doors. I sent out an email yesterday and I already have members joining and... I will cap it, um, and the doors are actually going to be closing anyways soon. So if you want to get in that, go to coreyclark.com forward slash splash, and um, or you can go to the show notes. The link will be there, and uh, it's going to be really fun. It's super, super affordable. Like I probably won't ever do this again because I'm sure all of um, – the experts and my business coach and all the entrepreneur gurus would be like, what are you doing? Um, But I really wanted to give women who want to take their business to the next level, experience a mastermind and how um, important it is and how beneficial it is without having to make such a large investment because I 100% absolutely believe that masterminds are worth the investment. And um, when I joined a mastermind, it completely changed my business. Um, But I just don't like that they're so far out of reach. And so like my annual mastermind is a high ticket investment, but this will be just for the summer. It's 90 days. It's going to be an amazing group of women. I've already met some of the women who have signed up and they're amazing. Um, And so to spend the summer together and to grow our businesses together, to get coaching and mindset mastery, we're going to do like a 90 day strategy call to go through all this stuff that we just went through on the podcast, but go through it more strategically and in depth together. We're going to kick off the summer with that. I'm so excited. So go to coreyclark.com forward slash splash and save your seat. Um, We will be starting the first week of June. So doors will close and you won't be able to get in. So um, if you want to up level your business to gain momentum this summer, And to really finish strong, make sure you get in there and save your seat. And that is all I have for you today. So let me know. Take a screenshot of this episode and share it on your stories and tag me. And let me know what your summer goals are for your business. Because I would love 
to see what you're doing, to cheer you on, to connect with you on Instagram. And if you haven't yet, make sure you go to Apple Podcasts and leave a review for the show. You can subscribe, rate, and leave a review there. I greatly appreciate it. It helps other people find the show. And send me a DM on Instagram and let me know what you loved about this episode. Because Instagram is where I connect with my listeners. And I'm the one answering my DMs. And it's not, you know, an assistant or anything. So I love connecting with you guys there. All right, you guys, I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you get geared up for not just a momentum filled summer, but also a fun filled summer with your family doing the things that you love. And I will see you back here next week on the Purpose Babe Show. Oh,